we are going to attempt to do uh, some trivia. All right, first question for you guys. In which city known for hosting the CFL's Labor Day Classic were Caesars first invented? And we got A, Calgary, B, Toronto, C, Saskatchewan, or D, Hamilton? And I'm actually going to go with A, Calgary. It is... It was one it's kind of random drink but it's something i could see being consumed at the stampede also it's a, it's a travel drink i'm not really sure i've always thought this like why do people get on a plane and order a caesar but they aren't out here making a caesar in their kitchen maybe they're making one at a tailgate but they're not you know going to their favorite restaurant and ordering a caesar but but you're in business class and you want a caesar all of a sudden calgary great airport people flying in and out all the time i'm going calgary with this rationale that makes little to no sense i'm going calgary as home of the first season wow wow i kind of want to go with saskatchewan why just because you you look Cause, at because the celery Day stick classics no you look at labor Day classics you look at rivalry week i feel like it just originated there i feel like it was always saskatchewan versus winnipeg and then that took on and it started there the first caesar was ordered from there and then people said oh well we're gonna have to have some other rivalry games and um what did they do over there in saskatchewan well they had a caesar so they did it too i'm gonna go with saskatchewan. so the correct answer is calgary let's ah. go let's go we're out here second question for you guys in which decade did Saskatchewan have the most wins in the Bombers slash Riders series? We got A, the 90s, B, 80s, C, 60s, or D, 70s? The question is, which decade did the Bombers suck? Basically. Because the the Riders have had good teams, essentially, in almost every decade. I'm not going to... Not gonna do Uncle Milt dirty and say the 90s. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the 60s. Just cause you randomly, these are there's no order. It went 90s, 80s, then you jump to the 60s and then back to the 70s. I'm gonna go C 60s just because it seems like it's in that Super spot far to away. throw me up. Well, it just why wouldn't it go 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, or vice versa? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 60s. I'm gonna See, go. I'm gonna go with with the '90s. I am going to go and oh, wow. do Uncle Milt dirty because, wow. I mean, he what he, he has no ring to show for it. It just leads me to believe Kevin Glenn, those teams, Charles Roberts, those teams. That's right. I I believe it. But early Arlen Bruce. I will go with the '90s. And you're correct with the '90s. Damn. <laughs> Thanks, Milt. We got the third question. So. How many times have the Elks and Stampeders met for the Battle of Alberta in the Labor Day Classic? And we got A, 55 times, <laughs> B, 40 times, or C, 46 times. I'm going to go C, 46. It just seems like a random number. Like 55, sure. 40, even number. I'm going to go with 46. C, 46. I'm actually, whatever the answer is, I'm surprised it's not more. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, the even number 40 40 so we got final answer we got a 55 times damn tough one so with our fourth question when was the last time bc and ottawa matched up for the labor day classic we got a 2002 b 2000 c 2008 and d 2014 i'm gonna say 2014 I'll go with 2008. You think it's been over a decade? I don't remember that happening. Okay, well, we're about to find out. So we got D, 2014. Ah, that's right, let's go. Then our fifth and final question is, which CFL stadium is known for having the loudest crowd during the Labor Day Classic? And we got A, Tim Hortons Field, right. B, Mosaic Stadium, you and C, Mosaic. You don't even have to stadium. read them out. Mosaic. 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 Yeah. yeah. You, you, you yeah. guys are right on that one. Yeah. 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 